So this is just a bit of a quick video on some of the work I've been doing. I'm hoping this incentivizes me to actually start making a few more videos, but we'll see how we go. Um, so I thought I'd start off with the Talon Extender, uh, or at least the versions I've been working on. Uh, so the Talon Extender was first proposed by Thanticles, and it's based on the idea that whilst the Talon magazine is meant to be rated for 15 darts, you can actually fit a good 17 in there reasonably comfortably. And even then, there's quite a bit of pre-compression to the spring, which then means you could actually slip in a few more darts if you have something extending it out. So this is the one that uh, Thanticles has designed that I bought off Blaster Tech and unfortunately have already kind of already broken and so that's why this usually has this bit here. So I was just initially curious about the idea particularly since on one of the Discord servers uh, there was chatter about this and uh, basically whether such a thing would really be possible or not. So this is number zero, or the proof of concept, which fits and all, and did seem to demonstrate that yes, the concept is actually valid, uh, but rather uncomfortable to actually hold and there's no notches to actually hold it on. Uh, but this paved the way for version 1, uh, which is a little bit more curved and I also threw in some diagonal stripes for a bit of grip and of course the notches inside so that it would actually stay on. And so this snaps on just like that and you can feel it snap on and it's fairly quite snug. You do need to really give it a ball to actually take it out. On chatting again with uh, some friends over Discord, there was the suggestion to put on a ranger plate on the bottom. This then resulted in version 2, uh, where I did a, shall we say, ranger-inspired plate on the bottom um, to basically be able to hook it out a bit more quickly. And um, it admittedly was a bit uninspired, but I just went with uh, some horizontal banding with this. The trouble, though, was because this is in a flat surface, I then needed to print the unit upside down like that, which then meant that the inside suffered a bit, um, particularly as well I was finding uh, that the follower just didn't really quite seem to want to go through, which then meant I had to do a few revisions, which resulted in version 3. And this one, what I've done is actually printed off in two parts. So the main unit still prints from the bottom up like normal, and then the ranger plate just prints like that. Um, now, I've actually thankfully got two printers, an Ender 3 and an Ender 5 Plus. Also, I'm running two different slicing softwares, um, Simplify 3D and Cura, uh, mainly because I'd actually bought the subscription for Simplify 3D and figured I might as well keep it around. Uh, also, it helps that uh, I don't end up uh, mixing settings between the two printers. So what I was finding though was that uh, Simplify 3D seemed to keep the models a little bit more dimensionally accurate, whereas with Cura what I was finding was I was getting problems just at these ridges here, where there'd be a bit more of a curve which would then affect the follower. That said, Simplify 3D doesn't have as many settings when it comes to supports, uh, particularly um, having roofs on the supports, uh, whereas Cura does. And so whilst I initially printed the 
two components on the same printer, what I actually found was that it was actually a bit better if I printed the main unit on the Ender 3 and then printed the base plate on the 5 Plus. Uh, it did also mean that I could mix and match things uh, colour-wise anyway. However, I wasn't quite um, settled with that. Um, given this is an exercise in increasing capacity, I then looked at other ways um, capacity could be increased. Um, this started off first with what I call the plus one follower. So this is a printed follower where it's not exactly all that much shorter and in of itself doesn't add space for an extra dart. But what I was finding was that uh, with my extender on, I could actually fit in 21 darts, uh, just that last dart would get squeezed in, uh, which isn't too bad if you're using it on the flywheeler, but uh, in a breech system just didn't quite work. So this frees up just enough space to allow it um, to fit on comfortably. Of course, I wasn't done there. Next, I thought, I can't really lengthen the spring. It's probably not too practical to make one of my own or find a longer spring. I have katana magazines that aren't really being used. So what if I combine the two together? And this led to what I called the Dai Katana Extender, which unfortunately I only ever printed one and I skimped on the settings a bit, which meant that it broke. Uh, but standing in for that and a further revision model that I made later down the track is this one, the Dark Saber Extender. It was a bit of a dead end though, uh, basically, it did technically work. It uh, managed to hold about 36 darts, just not very well. Uh, particularly, it wasn't feeding especially great. Often I had to shake it around or a bit to uh, get it to push the dart up. Uh, but it was a bit of a fun, goofy sidestep. It did eventually mean, though, that I came to the realisation that I essentially had all the, well, just about all the dimensions necessary to make a magazine of my own, which then resulted in the Katana magazine. Yes, I call it Katana magazine, even though it's Talon dimensioned. This will be in a different video since there's a whole other range uh, and I'm actually just printing out the latest revision, um, but essentially this follows a similar principle um, in that this is effectively one big extender and then I've got um, the top part which is uh, all done through a drum spring. But as I said, uh, probably going to be covered in a further video in the future. So that's probably about it for what I've done in terms of extenders. It's something that I'm not actively working on at the moment. I do have a few more ideas uh, of further things that could be done. Um, things like having uh, the extender itself attached to a retractable line so that um, when you reload the mag, you just let it drop and it slots back into um, a holder. The other thought I've been having, and again inspired by PMAG, is actually having it slide in rather than press down. But at the moment I'm a little bit more preoccupied with magazines and again uh, that will hopefully be in a future video. Um, so yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, if you have any questions or any suggestions, please put
put it down below. Um, I am actually quite interested in people's thoughts and ideas since much of the different versions have been shaped by 